Well, this is not a game pack, but a dongle tag. Hey guys, this is the Kiwi S Allegro. It's a dongle tag from Kiwi S, which looks like a game pack. It's a really nice design. And for the price at $59, how is it? So let's find out. Before I start the review, I want to say that this is a review unit from Linso. Uh, but all the thoughts and opinions you're about to hear are my own. So let's get started. The packaging is very simple. It has the DAC, the USB-C cable, and that's it. A small USB-C to USB-A adapter would have been nice for PC use. I absolutely love the design of the dongle DAC. The gamepad design is really nice and not boring, unlike most dongle DACs. The metal body of the Allegro is really well built. Uh, sadly, the buttons on the face of the Allegro uh, do not work. Uh, it would have been nice if they could do something like tuning filters or shifting to higher login mode. It has a ES9028Q2M DAC. Uh, it can support up to 32-bit 384 kHz and DSD 258. Its output power is 70 mW from 3.5 and 155 mW from 4.4. It does not have a low or a high gain mode. Uh, there are also no filters over here. As for power, they are surprisingly good and drove even my hard to drive Tanzim Kara quite well. Uh, before I talk about the sound, uh, I want to say that it is very hard to determine the sound of the DAC and it is heavily dependent on the IEM I am using and also by and also I compare it to other different uh, dongle DACs. Uh, well, the overall sound of the Allegro is very neutral but which sounds a bit analogish. Uh, the bass and the mids are very neutral with no coloration whatsoever. But the mids of the Allegro are quite analogish and male vocal specifically sounds really good over here. The treble is really good but it isn't the sharpest over here. The overall treble note is not that sharp and it is apparent when listening to 1985 live album from Cassiopeia. The treble extension lacks a little bit and some warm IMs could be a bit of an issue. I think so the Allegro pairs really well with brighter sounding source where the treble notes are blunted a bit and the vocals come forward a lot. When using it with warmer sounding IMs for some songs, it sounds a bit too dark and I do feel quite a bit of treble is lost. Again, this is a bit of a nitpick but it does pair well with most IMs. The sound state of the Allegro is as depicted with the IEM. Overall technicalities of the Allegro is really good. The analog nature of the Allegro doesn't muddy up the details and they come across quite well. The tonality of the tam and to timbre of the dongle is very good. Now for the battery test. I used a Moondrop Chu 2 at around 30% volume by the 3.5mm jack and got around 15 and a half hours from my 5000mAh smartphone. The battery test is quite good for its price. It has around 100 volume steps. Uh, the first few steps almost seem useless as the rise in the volume is quite minimal and there is a huge jump in volume where the stepping is even more sudden. Although not an issue, I still thought of mentioning it. The Allegro makes for a great budget buy, especially if you want a 4.4mm output and also want something which sounds a bit analogish or smooth. Versus the K11, K11 is still my pick for a fantastic warm sounding budget dongle tag. Also, K11 has an app which the Allegro lacks. K11 has only 3.5 but it costs a lot less at $29. Versus the Aclem PD4 Plus, the Aclem PD4 Plus is very analytical and has play pause buttons and even more power on the high gain mode from the 4.4. The Allegro sounds very analogish uh, when compared to the PD4 Plus. So it depends on what type of sound you might want and like. Well, that's my review of the KVS Allegro. I hope you liked it. If you have any questions, please do comment below and I'll try to help you out. 94% of the people watching this video aren't subscribed. So I would really appreciate if you could like and subscribe to my channel. That really helps me out a lot. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you have a great day ahead. Bye.